Welcome to Quarter 4, Week 2, Grade 6, Mathematics. Finding the volume of solid figures and solving routine and non-routine problems involving volume of solid figures. The learner is expected to 1. Find the volume of cylinders, pyramids, cones, and spheres. And 2. Solve routine and non-routine problems involving volume of solids. Lesson 1. Finding the volume of cylinders, pyramids, cones, and spheres. A. Volume of cylinders. A cylinder is a solid plane figure with two identical flat ends that are circular and one curved side. It has the same cross section from one end to the other. So let's have an example. We have a cylinder. The formula for getting the volume of a cylinder is V is equal to pi R squared H. Let's say we have a cylinder with given radius equals 4 cm and height equals 7 cm. From the formula, V is equal to pi r squared h. V is equal to pi, which is 3.14, times the radius squared, which is 4, times the height, which is 7 cm. V is equal to 351.68 cubic centimeters. The volume of the cylinder is 351.68 cubic centimeters. Another example. Given the diameter equals 15 inches and the height equals 14 inches. Since diameter is given, you have to divide the diameter by 2 to get the radius. Radius of this cylinder is 7.5 inches. V is equal to pi which is 3.14 times the radius 7.5 squared times the height which is 14 inches. Volume is equal to 176.63 cubic inches. The volume of this cylinder is 176.63 cubic inches. Letter B. Volume of Pyramid. Pyramid is a polyhedron formed by connecting a polygonal base and a point called the apex. Each base, edge, and apex form a triangle called a lateral face. It is conic, solid, with polygonal base. A regular pyramid has a regular polygon base and is usually implied to be a right pyramid. We have a pyramid with length equals 7 meters. Width equals 3 meters and height equals 6 meters. The formula for getting the volume of the pyramid V is equal to 1 third length times width times height. Where V is the volume, L is the length, W is the width, and H is the height. Using the formula, B is equal to 1 third times the length, which is 7, times the width, which is 3, times the height, which is 6. V is equal to 1 third, 7 times 3 times 6 is 126. V is equal to 42 cubic meters. The volume of the pyramid is 42 cubic meters. Then we have volume of cones. Cone is a distinctive three-dimensional geometric figure that has a flat surface 
and a curved surface pointed towards the top. The pointed end of the cone is called the vertex, whereas the flat surface is called the base. We have a volume of a cone. And the formula for getting the volume of the cone, V is equal to one-third pi r squared h. Given h is equal to 6 meters, and r equals 3.2 meters. V is equal to one-third pi, which is 3.14, times the radius 3.2 squared, times the height, 6. V is equal to 1 third times 3.14 times 3.2 squared, which is 10.24 times 6. V is equal to 1 third 3.14 times 10.24 times 6 is 61.44. V is equal to 64.31 cubic meters. The volume of the cone is 64.31 cubic meters. Next, we have volume of sphere. Sphere is a geometrical object in three-dimensional space that is the surface of a ball. Like a circle in two-dimensional space, a sphere is defined mathematically as the set of points that are all at the same distance are from a given point in a three-dimensional space. These are also referred to as the radius and center of the sphere respectively. The formula for getting the volume of the sphere is V is equal to 4 third pi r cubed. Let's say we have a sphere with a given radius of 5 inches. Volume is equal to 4 thirds pi, which is 3.14, times 5 cubed. Volume is equal to 4 thirds times 3.14 times 5 cubed, which means 5 times 5 times 5 is equal to 125. V is equal to 523.33 cubic inches. The volume of the sphere is 523.33 cubic inches. Next lesson. Solving routine and non-routine problems involving volume of solid figures. Problem 1. A barrel of crude oil has a radius of 8 feet and a height of 12 feet. How much crude oil can the barrel contain if it is completely filled? First, we have to understand. What is asked? the amount of crude oil that the barrel can contain. What are given? 8 feet radius and 12 feet height. Then plan. What strategy will you use? Using the equation or number sentence. Then solve. Translating the number sentence into mathematical equation. Volume of the cylinder is equal to pi r squared h. Volume is equal to pi, which is 3.14, times the given radius, which is 8 feet squared, times the height, which is 12 feet. Volume is equal to 3.14, times 8 squared is 64 feet squared, times 12 feet. Volume is equal to 2,411.52 cubic feet. Problem 2. Basketballs come in many different sizes. One of the basketballs has a diameter of 30 centimeters. 
What is the volume of the basketball? Again, first we have to understand. What is asked? The volume of the basketball. What are given? 30 centimeters as the diameter of the ball. Then plan. Strategy using the equation or number sentence. Then solve. Translating the number sentence into mathematical equation. Solve for the volume of the sphere. Volume of the sphere is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. Volume is equal to 4 thirds times the value of pi which is 3.14 times the given 15 centimeter cubed. Volume is equal to 4 thirds times 3.14 times the cube of 15 centimeter is 3,375. Volume is equal to 14,130 cubic centimeters. Then we have the answer. The volume of the ball is 14,130 cubic centimeters. Remember, in finding the volume of solids, a cylinder is a solid plane figure with two identical flat ends that are circular and one curved side. To get its volume, we use this formula. Volume of cylinder is equal to pi times r squared times h. Pyramid is a polyhedron formed by connecting a polygonal base and a point called the apex. Each base edge and apex form a triangle called a lateral face. To get its volume, we use this formula. Volume of rectangular pyramid is equal to one third times L times W times H. Cone is a distinctive three-dimensional geometric figure that has a flat surface and a curved surface pointed towards the top. The pointed end of the cone is called the vertex, whereas the flat surface is called the base. To get its volume, we use this formula. Volume of cone is equal to one third times pi times r squared times h. Sphere is a geometrical object in three-dimensional space that is the surface of a ball. To get its volume, we use this formula. Volume of sphere is equal to 4 thirds times pi times r cubed. In solving routine and non-routine problems involving volumes of solids, first understand Know what is asked in the problem and know the given facts. Then plan. Determine the operations to be used. Write the number sentence. Then solve. Use the operation or operations and number sentence to solve. Then check and look back. Write the correct answer and check.